हेलो गाइस वेलकम एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल जेबीआर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल हेलो एवरीवन सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम सम नंबर 14 ओके दिस इज द थर्ड पार्ट फ्रॉम द एक्सरसाइज 11.9 फॉर द प्रीवियस पार्ट प्लीज चेक द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स द लिंक विल बी देयर सो हियर इन सम नंबर 14 find the equation of the two straight line drawn through the point here 0 1 on which the perpendicular dropped from the point here 2 2 are each of unit length unit length means 1 so as here the line passing through the point 0 1 so suppose here y minus y1 then m into x minus x1 as the equation as here 0 1 that means x1 y1 so you can write down here y minus 1 that one equal to here m into x minus 0 or you can write down mx so here y minus 1 equal to mx that means here mx minus y plus 1 that one equal to 0 suppose this was the point 2 2 and here this one is a straight line mx sorry here mx mx minus y plus 1 that one equal to 0 And if you want to find out the perpendicular distance, here given it is unit length. Unit length means one. So here according to the formula, here m, then here m into two, then minus two plus one, within mod divided by root over here m square, and then here minus one square that means one. Okay, so that one equal to here one. You can also write down this one as 2m minus 1 within mod that one equal to here root over m square plus 1. Now squaring both side, so 2m minus 1 whole square that one equal to here m square plus 1. Okay, so here 4m square this one equal to here 2 to 4m. Okay, then next word here plus 1. So write down here plus 1 here m square plus 1. So 1 1 cancel out. So you can write down here 4m square minus m square, 3m square minus 4m. That one equal to zero. If you common m, it becomes 3m minus 4. That one equal to zero. So here either m equal to zero, or you can write down m equal to here 4 by 3. So as here the given equation is mx minus y, mx minus y plus 1. That one equal to zero. So here your answer for m equal to zero. For m equal to zero, it will be here minus y plus one equal to zero or y minus one equal to zero. That is your first answer. And next one for m equal to here four by three, as m equal to four by three, you can write down here four by three x minus y plus one. That one equal to zero. So here four x minus three y plus three. That one equal to zero as your answer. Now next one, sum number fifteen. Find the point on the x-axis. Okay, find the point on the x-axis whose perpendicular distance from the line here x by three plus y by four that one equal to one is four units. So first here let the point on x-axis that is x comma zero, and here twelve is the LCM. So it will be here 4x plus 3y that one equal to 12, or you can write down here 4x plus 3y minus 12 that one equal to 0. Now if you want to find out the perpendicular distance from the point with this straight line, so here your formula that is within mod, then here 4 into x plus 3 into 0 minus 12, then whole divided by here 4 square means 16, 3 square means 9. That one equal to here four units. It's given. That imply here four x minus twelve within mod. That one equal to here root twenty five means five. So five into four. That one equal to here twenty. Okay. So now next one as here four x. So you can common here four. So it becomes here within mod x minus three. That one equal to here twenty. So that means here within mod x minus three. That one equal to here five. Okay, within mod x minus three, that one equal to here five. So that means here you can write down x minus three, that one equal to plus minus five. X minus three, that one equal to here plus minus five. 
So now when x minus 3 equal to 5, then x equal to here 8. When x minus 3 equal to minus 5, then x equal to here minus 2. So that means here the given points, sorry, the required points are first one 8 comma 0 and second one here minus 2 comma 0 as your answer. Now next sum number 16. Find the point on the line here y equal to x which are at the distance of 5 units okay from the line here 4x plus 3y minus 1 that one equal to 0. So first here let any point on the line y equal to x that is here p alpha comma alpha okay p alpha comma alpha. Now here the perpendicular distance from this point to the given straight line that we will do mod 4 alpha then here 3 alpha minus 1 divided by root over here 16 plus 9 that one equal to 5 it is given. So now you can write down here 4 alpha plus 3 alpha that one equal to here 7 alpha minus 1 within mod here 5 into 5 it become 25 okay. So that means here you can write down. 7 alpha minus 1 that one equal to here 25 and next 7 alpha minus 1 that one equal to here minus 25. So here 7 alpha equal to 26 alpha equal to 26 by 7 okay. Next one here 7 alpha equal to minus 24 then alpha equal to minus 24 by 7 and here you have to find out the points okay. So here the points are if alpha equal to 26 by 7. So here your answer that is 26 by 7 comma 26 by 7 first answer and next one here minus 24 by 7 comma minus 24 by 7 as your second answer. Now next sum number 17. Here in sum number 17 show that the line here the first line 5x minus 2y minus 1 that one equal to 0 is meet parallel to the lines first one here 5x minus 2y plus 7 equal to 0 and then 5x minus 2y minus 9 that one equal to 0. Now what is the meaning of meet parallel okay suppose here this one is the first one this one is the second one and this one is the third one okay here suppose this one is equation number 2 this one here equation number 3 then equation number will be here okay that means 1 2 3 are 3 parallel lines and as here meet parallel meet parallel means the distance the distance of the first straight line and the second straight line is equal to the distance with the first and the third okay that means the perpendicular distance between 1 and 2 is equal to the perpendicular distance between 3 and 1 or 1 and 3. So here first you have to find out the perpendicular distance between 1 and 2. Here you know the formula in your book if two lines are parallel okay. Suppose here the first one ax plus by plus c equal to 0 and second one here ax plus by plus c dash equal to 0 then according to the formula here the perpendicular distance is within mod c dash minus c divided by root over a square plus b square that is the formula. So as here equation number 1 and equation number 2 are parallel line and here the coefficient of x and y both are same as here 5 here also 5 here minus 2 here also minus 2. So that means here you can apply this formula. So here suppose d1, d1 is the distance between 1 and 2 and d2 is the distance between 1 and 3. So here d1 is within mod c dash, c dash means 7, so 7 minus then minus 1 divided by root over 5 square means 25 and here 2 square means 4. So that means here you can write down 7 minus 1 plus so it's 8, 8 by root 29, okay. 8 by root 29. Now next one here d2. So d2 equal to here minus 9. So minus 9 minus minus 1 within mod and then again here root 29. So it means here it's minus 8 minus 8 by root 29 
here mod so that will equal to here 8 by root 29 okay so that means here you can write down d1 is exactly equal to with d2 that means 1 is equation number 1 is meet parallel lines between these two lines and it's proved now next sum number 18 find the equation of the lines midway between the lines first one here 2x plus 3y plus 7 equal to 0 and second one here 2x plus 3y plus 5 that one equal to 0 so that means here the required line will be here 2x plus 3y plus k equal to 0 which is parallel with this given two equation okay that means here the required lines is parallel with 1 as well as 2 okay suppose this one here equation number 3 so now here you can easily find out the distance as this one is the midway between these two lines so you can write down here mod k minus 5 okay that means distance between 3 and 2 that is distance between 3 and 2 here root over 2 square means 4 3 square means 9 that one is equal to here k minus 7 that is distance between 1 and 3 so here also 4 plus 9 okay I hope it's clear now this portion will be cancelled out so here within mod k minus 5 that one equal to within mod k minus 7 okay now squaring both side so you can write down here k minus 5 is equal to k minus 7 both whole square because squaring both side so next one you can write down here k square minus 10 k plus 25 here you can write down k square minus 14 k plus 49 k square k square cancel out so here 4k equal to here 24 that means here k equal to 6 so as here k equal to 6 so here your answer 2x plus 3y plus 6 that one equal to 0 sum number 19 if two sides of a square is lie on the lines okay suppose this one is a square so here the first side which lie on the straight line 5x minus 12y plus 26 that one equal to 0 and second side lie on the straight line 5x minus 12y minus 65 that one equal to 0. So definitely here equation number 1 and equation number 2 are parallel. So you can easily find out the perpendicular distance suppose this one as d. So here d equal to perpendicular distance that means here minus 65 here minus 26 within mod then divided by root over 5 square means 25 and 12 square that means 144 okay so now here after adding here write down minus it's 1 it's 91 so 91 here 25 144 169 so that means here 91 by here 13 okay now 13 7 is 91 so that means here the side the side of the square is 7 unit so if you want to find out the area so area of the square that means here 7 into 7 that one equal to here 49 square units as your answer now some number 20 that is the last sum for this video so guys if you like my video please please share this video and please subscribe my channel because I am the only one channel who upload 2021 ML Agarwal in YouTube and with full solution. So please support me. So here the last problem, sum number 20. Show that the path of a moving point such that the distance, okay, its distance from the line here 3x minus 2y that one equal to 5. And next one here 3x plus 2y that one equal to 5 okay are equal in a line so here first you have to draw a diagram okay so here this is the diagram as here this line is 3x plus 2y is 5 this one and the second one here the second line that one is this one is the first line and this one is the second line is 3x minus 2y that one equal to 5 okay now first you have to find out the intersecting point first you have to find out the intersecting point of these two line 
So you have three x minus two y that one equal to five. Then three x plus two y that one equal to five. So here y cancel out. Then here six x equal to ten. That means x equal to here five by three. So as here x equal to five by three, and if you put down the value in x, then you can easily find out the value of y. Here y equal to zero. So here the intersecting point is five by three comma zero. So that is the intersecting point. This one. Okay, this red dot. This is the point where x equal to five by three and y equal to zero. So as y equal to zero, that means its x-axis. So this one is y equal to zero. It's a straight line. And as x equal to five by three, so this one is the another straight line. X equal to five by three. Okay. So now here you have to find out the distance between these two lines and the perpendicular distance. Remember that. Okay. Now you have to find out the perpendicular distance between these two lines. So here, let this point, okay, this point P. Here P, suppose as H K, okay, coordinate of P that is H K. P H K be any point which is equidistant to given lines, okay, to given lines. So here the condition, three H minus two K minus five within mod. Divided by root over three square means nine and minus two square means four. That one is equal to here three h plus two k minus five. Then here three square means nine and then two square means four. So now here you can write down this one as this portion cancel out. So within mod three h minus two k minus five. Here also three h plus two k minus five. Okay. So that means here you can write down 3h minus 2k minus 5. That one is equal to plus minus 3h plus 2k minus 5. Okay? अगर mod को आप उठा देंगे तो वहाँ पर plus minus हो जाएगा. So here case one, when the right hand side is positive, then 3h minus 2k minus 5. That one equal to 3h plus 2k minus 5. So 3h 3h cancel out. Here minus 4k. And that one equal to here zero, okay? So that means here k equal to zero. First one and next here case two when the right hand side is negative, so three h minus two k minus five. This one here minus three h minus two k plus five, okay? So two k two k cancel out here six h. That one equal to here ten. That means here h equal to five by three, okay? So as here k equal to zero. Which is a straight line, definitely, and here h equal to five by three, which is also a straight line. Okay, so that means here the path of the moving point. Here the path of the moving point is a straight line as shown in the figure. Okay, so it's proved.